I, I, I honestly don't think that any of my non-racing friends, let alone my racing friends, who've talked about Cheltenham, have not mentioned Honeysuckle. And uh, even the Duchess of Cornwall was granted an audience this week with the Equine Queen uh, at trainer Henry de Bromhead's HQ in County Waterford. Well, you and I may have talked a lot uh, uh, about uh, Honeysuckle. Oh, there, there they are, Camilla, uh, Camilla and uh, Honeysuckle. And thanks, uh, credited there, and thanks for your help on, on that front. Uh, well, you and I may have been talking a lot about Honeysuckle over recent days, but I bet it's not been as much as our next guest, uh, Kenny Alexander, uh, owner of Honeysuckle, uh, who's able to join us uh, down the line this morning. Kenny, good morning to you. Hi there. How are you doing? Well, I suspect not as good as you, to be perfectly honest, uh, because you must still be just glowing in the whole the whole thing of that uh, latest performance. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it was an amazing day. Never, never to be forgotten. Never will be forgotten. And uh, probably, um, yeah, it was, it was, it was amazing. It was, it was very good the year before, obviously. Um, but it's a bit different watching it in the the winners' enclosure or the paddock with uh, I don't know sixty five thousand people there and family and friends there than sitting on your couch with. Uh, with some family and friends. Um, obviously, the year before that, I did get there when the when she won the mayor's. But uh, yeah, it was a, it was a it was a fabulous day. Uh, great celebrations and uh, horse and Rachel on the day were managed to do the business. And yeah. uh, as I said too many times, Henry get this horse fit and sound in the right frame of mind and tuned to perfection repeatedly is. Uh, it's quite a, it's quite a training performance. It's uh, yeah, yeah. I, I I I was hoping she might do it, and she did, but she she did it, and uh, yeah, fantastic, uh, and, and Kenny, what was actually you know when you've got tens of thousands of people cheering, but cheering for your horse and the team around your horse. Put into words, you know how how that feels to just to just take it all in. It, well. As you can tell, I didn't really know there was anybody around me because I was behaving like an absolute maniac and I think I nearly strangled my wife there as well and uh, some other character. Um, you, get, you, you get in your own... Uh, so when you watch the race, you're just in your own little space and, as you say, jump around like a maniac and getting very overly excited. But if you can't get excited for a champion hurdle, then when do you get excited? But it's very touching. You know, I've been to see all of our races this year. Um, not always been able to pandemic and things but um yeah it was at fairy house it was at leopard style and then at cheltenham and the reception on all, all three occasions was was uh absolutely uh it was, it, was, it was very very touching very very touching and she's she's obviously the she's obviously the people's horse really um you know, and it's the golden combination isn't it of a, a very popular horse with unbeaten that magic word unbeaten great name and rachel blackmore as well that really is a an extraordinary combination yeah yeah i mean rachel's um over the last few years she's she, she has pretty much come from nowhere but in the last few years she's she's had success and it's just got ever greater and she's she's probably the best thing best thing best thing for the sports I've ever had in, in recent years um she's a great ambassador for it um, everybody seems to love her and admire her for, for what she's managed to do in the saddle and, 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 and the fact she's joined up with this horse as well. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's great for the sport. And, uh, yeah, I mean, as you said, everybody, certainly a lot of my friends who are not particularly that interested in racing, but they, they're, they've, got, they've got very excited with the fact that, uh, and very interested by I think that's that what's so... Funny that... Tuckle and, and, and Rachel. Yeah, that's what's so striking, isn't it? So what what about the future? Because inevitably people say, you know, 15 out of 15, 16 out of 16, if you include the point of point, um, you know, what, what, how, how long will this go on? Will she be retired at some point to become um, uh, a, a mother? Uh, but you've said this week she will race on next next season. Yeah, yeah, this well, no more than one year. So um, we'll <clears throat> look as long as she's... As long as he's uh, obviously fit and sound and, and in the same form, I'm not interested in it. You know, obviously the age catches up with them all and eventually all, all the great horses eventually decline. I have no interest in, 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 in running her if she's she's not in the same sort of form as 
she is at the moment. But uh, as long as she's in the same vein of form, then we will go again next year. But that will be it. We won't, we won't, you know, no matter what happens next year, that she will be retired um, at the end of next season or sooner, if I say, if, if God forbid, you know, she's she's not physically um, able to do it or, or just she's just not as good as she was. But as long as she's fit and healthy and uh, Henry's happy with her, Rachel's happy with her, and uh, she's in this vein of form. We'll, we'll we'll try to we'll go again next year and at the end of next season, no matter what, she will be retired as a, a broodmare and go off to no doubt for a hot day and, with walk in the park, no doubt. Yeah, well that could that could be exciting. And um, Constitution Hill, any any update on whether she and uh, Constitution Hill from from your camp anyway, whether that uh, encounter could take place at Punchestan? No, no, I don't know. I mean, we'll be we'll be there if she's fit. If she's fit, as I say, physically, if she's fit and sound, which she is at the moment. She will definitely be there. I don't know if the the other horse uh, will be there, but uh, we'll we'll certainly be there, and uh, we'll be we'll be ready to uh, take on this uh, take on this horse. You know, that would he be did... quite something, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he did. He, he, I, I was standing there watching, and uh, when he won, I thought he looked very, very impressive, but. Um, you know, <clears throat> you know, you've just got to be careful not to hype these things up too much. You know, these these English lads like to hype these things up. You know, <laughs> and Tim Henman, the golden generation, those lads last summer and the, the Euros. You know, you just be got to be careful. You know, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. What we love a bit of hype, doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, look, he did very well. But our, I think our horse has done it many, many times. I think Constitution Hill ultimately will be. Um, I think it will. I think he's going to be a very, very special horse. But um, we're, we're we're certainly we've got a we've got a very, very special horse that's done it many, many times, won many Grade Ones, and and I genuinely believe that if they both turn up at Punchestown, um, that we will win. Um, but let's see if it even happens, or if it doesn't happen, then it'll probably happen next year sometime if both horses touch wood are are. Uh, are, are sound and, 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 and able to take their place in the race. Well, I can't wait, personally. I know racing uh, as a whole can't wait as well. Kenny, thanks yeah. so much for joining us on this Sunday morning and congratulations once again. Uh, and uh, congratulations at, at owning such just a, a wonderful horse with that uh, wonderful record. Thanks very much indeed. No problems. Look after yourself. Cheers. Thank you.